Hey everyone, it's Antagonist Kim, and we're back. We are gonna go to bed. I'm sleepy. Yeah, let's go to bed. Um, we have the potion brewing to heal the calf for Marty. We got some other chores to do, and then I think we will do mining, because I really want to get to that barn and have animals of our own, which will be really cool. We have a few other, um, laundry items. Really, it is mainly mining to get this done. I have talked to a lot of different people. The only other folks I can think about would be maybe, I don't remember asking Shelby, maybe Lena, I don't know. I don't recall exactly who the five were originally. Um, and maybe the Fey folk will uh, have something to say about this. But I don't know. I have talked to quite a few different people. Uh, let's do this. Oh, excuse me. Is honey almost done? No. I don't know if the bees care about that, so I might just, I don't know, plant something else. I need to collect weeds real quick. We'll do that after. Uh, we'll do that right now. I thought I had water in that. <laughs> and yeah, so I mean, not not too crazy of an episode. We'll uh, see how far we get mining and go from there. It is Sunday though thinking about what is open on a Sunday. I know Marty isn't going to be open, so I'll probably just have to find him. Um, you know, we'll do another flower. I feel like it's been a while since we've done that. I really need more seaweed. Which actually, I was just thinking that Shelby maybe has seaweed to sell, or Ariel does. Maybe I'll visit there first and see if they'll talk about the drought. Although, no, please don't cut that. Okay. Okay. Um, I have a feeling it's still townspeople. And maybe kids, too. I didn't recall uh, kids being so involved with drought stuff, but maybe? Oh, you know what? Giva might be one. Although, I thought I already talked to her. I don't know. I'm forgetting what I did for that mission, so... Or quest, per se. Okay. Let's ask. Because that is part of our mission thing. Then we'll find Marty. If he's not at his place. I know it's hard not to get caught up in picking up stuff over here, but... I'm gonna do my best to not go crazy. And then, uh, Kim's not open, but when she is open on Monday, I need to see her and see if she has another cookbook that I may purchase. Because to cook Wesley's other meals, I need a cookbook that has, I think it was like a mini fish, no, mini meat soup or something. I don't have your silk, but the drought? Amira's always a fun chat. I could nerd out over data and statistics with her all day. Mm -hmm. uh, 
don't know. I don't like doing it, but I'm I do not have time to walk slow. Shelby, drought? Whew. Shelby, you don't mind having that fire going when it's this hot out? No. I made my peace with fire long ago. Hmm, gosh darn it. Okay. My last hope is these kids. Do some of the kids have something to say about the drought? If they do, perfect. If not, man... Oh. Wait. Who's... Oh. Okay, hold on. I, I will get to you in just a second, Parker. Do you have seaweed I can purchase? <gasps> yes. Perfect. I knew you were awesome, Shelby. What's up, dude? Hi, Parker. Chopping down some wood? No. I've been coming by the woods every so often to see if my favorite flowering tree has bloomed yet. When I was a kid in the city, there was only one tree on our block. In front of my neighbor, Miss Lovitz's house, used to bloom pink petals once a year. It was like a miracle on that drab block. I gotta say, I don't miss that concrete jungle at all. I can relate. I feel like when I was a kid, I used to dream all year of getting to come to Grandma's farm in the summer. <laughs> You were a lucky kid to get that break in nature. I've only ever heard good things about your grandpa, too. I bet it was nice having that time with him. I went back home one winter, and Miss Lovitz's house was gone and replaced by a new condo building. They took the tree out, too. See, in winter, it didn't look like much, just some spindly branches. But nothing can be in full bloom all the time, can it? Otherwise, you wouldn't appreciate it. I guess that's true. Take it easy, Tara. Okay. Did I talk to you about this drought? Do you have a drought option? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh. Any other peeps hanging out over here? I did at least get a seaweed. Did I talk to you about the drought stuff? I think I did. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. Yes, Hi, please. Lena. How are things going? Oh, busy, busy. We've ordered jugs of water from Milk Water. Everyone seems to need more than the town pipes can supply. So if you need some water, they should be coming off the ferry soon. Oh, and if you have any eggs to sell, that would be great. Marty's hardly got any lately. <sighs> I can't wait until this dry spell is over. Okay. Have you ever seen a dry spell like this on the island before, Lena? A few years back we did, but that was the first time I can recall. Thomas even had to dig his well deeper. It's strange that it's happened again so soon. She had a little quest. Oh, she wants the honey. Okay, um, I'm going to use this again, and I hope... Hope... He's at his farm, or on the beach somewhere. Perfect. I might actually buy some I stuff I thought from you him. said the land here was ripe for all kinds of development. It is! But mucking around with public land won't go over well with my voters. I'll tell you what doesn't go over well. No water for anyone, your voters included. What exactly is your plan, Mayor Soft? Uh, what's that about development? Oh, uh, I was just telling Otto about my personal development plans. Mm -hmm. I came to Fairhaven to allow my soul to bloom. Just like Thoreau, as the great man said, I went to the woods because I wish to live deliciously. I think he said deliberately. Not deliciously. Well, sure, he could have said that too. <laughs> I was just stopping by to tell Marty that Fairhaven will always provide for his livestock, even in the lean times. Tara, Marty, have a good one. Animals are absolute sponges, you know that? I'm sure your crops are the same way. Ah, nature. So beautiful. So fearsome. Hmm. 
Try giving this to your cow, Marty. Wow. What's in it? A secret wild family recipe. Well, thanks. I'm going to try this right now. Okay, wait and see if the potion helped Marty's cow. Despite my clearly visible lack of horses, Natalia gave me a horseshoe the other day. She said they're lucky. <laughs> she makes for a cute lady luck, don't you think? Nice. Well, maybe they they can uh, have a thing, you know? Okay. Because I already talked to Thomas, so the, Lena just kind of popped up and had that. So I have one more person. Who was my last person? Hmm. Thomas was the one who brought up the drought, so what am I gonna do? Who's left? Kai gave me some seaweed in exchange for cutting across my farm every morning. Seaweed's a potent fertilizer. I appreciate him looking out for me. Nice. I'm slowly breaking into a shell, you guys. Thomas will be my best buddy by the end of this game. I swear. Alright, um, I'm really just over here because I need to see if there's any seaweed while I'm thinking about it. I'm still gonna collect this. Uh, so I can only brew one fast potion, so I might do that game day, next game day. So that I have a fast potion and the pickup one and we are just gonna do some mining. Because I don't know if there's, I'll double check quests, but... I think we just about have the other stuff all laid out, and it's really just a waiting game at this point. Mm -mm. Do you have a new symbol over your head for the drought stuff? No? Okay. Let's head back. The rest is all just a waiting game of, of stuff and figuring out who that last drought conversation is. But I, after seeing Lena just kind of be out and about and walk up, I'm curious if it's just going to be a spontaneous meetup sitch, you know? We'll pet Cleopatra. By the way, last episode that we found out her name. Look at that. Listen to that purr! Um, drought conditions? Marty's brave, isn't he? Um, what makes you say that? He moved here without much experience, just hoping everything would work out. Like me. And you! Yeah, they might have a thing. I don't know. I am gonna go up in here. Before bed, I'm gonna go collect some more things. Cause it is a new day. And maybe see Giva and hope she's my last person. I don't think I actually talked to her. I did last episode with the hopes that it would, you know, spontaneously have that little pop up and it didn't. Uh, Kim wasn't open, so I couldn't have gotten the cookbook if she had it. Give a yes, please. Please be my last person. Ah. Very well, then. Keep your secrets. Keep your secrets. Hmm. It is a very peaceful night. Actually, I don't think we know the moon cycles. I was curious when, uh, if the lore is for, for Wesley, if he can just transform when he wants, or if it is actually like on a full moon, or you know what I mean? Definitely curious about that. I'm gonna use up some energy. Might as well not let it go to waste. Then we'll make our potions. Hmm. 
Um, I want to build that barn so bad, you guys. I actually don't even remember how much of the ore I've got. I got 35. Maybe 50. Actually, maybe even more than that. I don't even remember how many ores it takes to make one bar. I might actually need more than 50. Isn't that sad? <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if they're closed, too. Just curious. Oh, yeah, he's wolf dude right now. Is your farm doing okay? For now, but that won't last forever. I feel so guilty. I don't have any useful fey power, so I can't do much. If only werewolves could make it rain. It's okay, Wesley. Changing into a wolf and summoning storm clouds don't go together anyway. Yeah, they're closed up shop, too. It looks like I need wheat for that. I mean, I don't know. Ooh, this one I could do. What is this? Essence of gold. He's probably closed, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's head back and go to bed. I guess. We'll make the potions we need for speediness and picky-uppy stuff. Should I go to bed? Yes. Kim, I think, will be open. I want to see if they have the cookbook. Okay. Talk to Marty. Hmm. Um. Let's brew. Well, write up these incantations, actually. Speediness. Yes, please. Cool. Um. Yeah. Is he open Mondays? Kim? She's closed on- uh, they, my apologies, they are closed Monday. He's open. Okay, cool. Uh, water. Get water stuff. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna leave that, I know what you're gonna say. Leave it empty, well? Gosh darn it. Sugar cane, sure. Okay. What are the rest of the goods? I do just hops this time. In case I'm maybe mistaken on making the alcohol. I mean, I'm believe me, I'm no uh, alcohol connoisseur, but barley for sure uh, hops. I mean goes into beer making and all that but i don't know if it's similar to whiskey or whiskey's made with something else like i said i'm a no pro at this or brewing things okay um i mean honestly i don't even know i just just for for gigglesness. Where is my plants? Oh, it doesn't even say.
I mean, but then in this, it doesn't say it's seasonal. So should I just plant these? I'm going to look that up before I do that, but... Oh, last thing. Wormies? Yes. Let's make another silk. Perfect. Uh, wormies, I don't want you to go hungry. Let's finish. Uh, we'll pick this. Feed the chickies, as usual. Oh. I did these, but never used them. The time for walking... Okay. Picky uppy. Things I want, but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. Sweet. Okay. God, this is so nice. I never have time to, but I seem to make it a habit of uh, going to the beach or buy it off Shelby, one or the other. Yeah. Lena says she wants eggs. I mean, she didn't, as a mission, say she wanted eggs, but I guess there's not many eggs going around, so we're gonna maybe stop there and sell eggs too. Beautiful. Ooh, we got the chicken feathers for Ariel as well. I know it's probably not so sinister, but it'd be cool if there was a vampires, vampires as well as werewolves. That'd be really cool. Rancher. No, I am not going to eat his livestock. I have more self-control than that. I was just going to ask if you'd met him yet. Oh. I'd love to have Wesley's job own a bookstore. I mean, I mean, not saying that his job is easy. I mean, businesses are hard to run, for sure. Uh, where can I find you? R-E-L. Aha. Ooh. If the wellspring is nearby, does that mean I can visit it? Oh, of course not. The wellspring is absolute magic. That is why magic courses through every leaf and pebble in the gloaming. Only very experienced witches, or very old fae, can make it to the center of the gloaming. Hey. I have your goods. Ooh, wildling. This is extraordinary. <laughs> With this, I will do mischief unlike anything you have ever seen. Okay. Where are you from, Ariel? It is a place you humans call Brazil. But when I came into being, the humans called it Pindoretama. That's a long way from here. One day I may tell you the story of how I came to Ravenwood Hollow. Nice. Very cool. Oh, it's already 1.30. It's okay, I'm gonna talk- I'm not gonna miss out on Zephyr unless they're not here. It's not. Okay. Well then. Not on the thing. Let's go. Let's find Marty. Marty. And then we'll make our way up and see if Kim has our other stuff. Do you have a good relationship with your mom, Tara? We do now. But, uh, my teenage years were definitely a bit rough. Oh, well, that's good to know. Maybe Juliet and I will get along better someday, too. I don't remember if I checked down here, did I? No. Sorry, Thomas. I'll talk to, talk to you later, buddy. Same thing with the mirror. I need to get some missions done. I'll take you, though. How's our cow, baby? Are they good now? 
That medicine you gave me worked a miracle. Mona Lisa is back in action. Just look at this fresh milk. Oh, and here. You should have this for your trouble, too. Happy to help. Okay. Ooh. Nice. We are racking up the cash, you guys. Oh, your animals are adorable. Mm-hmm. The good book says, while it is important to build a healthy working relationship with your animals, you should not become overly attached to meat animals. The good book says that? My handbook from my course, Ranch Dressing, How to Look and Act the Part. It's a really good book. Okay, well, I mean, it makes me sad, but I mean, that is the inevitable truth. Sometimes I make Sebastian rub my feet after work. He hates it. I mean, I do understand his point of view, but hey, now I don't have to. I've been going to the onsen instead. You and Kim are lifesavers. Okay. Speaking of Kim, let's go before their store closes. And not open. Thought you would be open. I do want to go in here, though. At first, I only bought lemonade from Emmy and Finn because I'm their babysitter, but it's actually good. Like, really good. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna buy some stuff from you because I ain't got it's nothing so else to do right now. It's so hot the kids have even expressed an interest in joining Parker when he goes to the Consciousness Center. Cameron's got his AC blasting at all times, of course. Uh, what do I need of things? I'm gonna buy a teeny bit of each, right? Because I got monies. Um, ah, I do need this. What else could I get? I got like a little extra cash and stuff. Don't I? I know I still have the other thing, but... I already had some. She wanted eggs. I have a ton of eggs. Where are my eggs at? We actually have a lot of... Quite a few different things. Holy smokes. Yeah, baby. Gonna keep those. Ah, okay. I'm not using these right now, so I'm gonna sell her 10. Oh, I didn't realize it gave us quite that many. I thought it only gave us three each. We've only harvested it twice, right? Oh, no, these are the blackberries. My bad, guys. I thought those were the mulberries. I was about to say, I'm like, there's no way we have that many, right? Got a little more cash to buy stuff. We have plenty of that. Oats. Wish I might buy more butter and cheese. For the fall, but I feel like. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna call that it. Kim, do you have anything to say about this drought? I don't remember if I talked to you or not. Damon and Kai are 100% dinguses, but also 100% sweet. You don't get that too often from cis guys. Okay. Stop by Granny. I miss you, Grandma. Anything at all about this drought weather? Anybody else? Hmm, 
Okay, well, I am in a dilemma. Let's go back. We'll do mining like I said I would at some point in time for this episode. <laughs> See how far we get. We have some energy potions we can use, so I don't feel as bad. Why is my thing lit up? Oh, we have Gilla's thing. You know, we'll do that next episode. Let's do some mining. As I said I would. Until bedtime. Not what I need. I need iron ore, please. Nice. Realize that my uh, stamina bar went up, did it? A little circle around my clock here. Interesting. <sighs> Maybe as the seasons go, you level up more. Let's see if we can get another level here. <laughs> yes, please, more iron ore. I must have it. Ooh. Can I even get to this? Oh, I can. We'll need an energy thingy. Let's do... Hmm... Yes. I also noticed that the bar fills up a lot more too, which is super nice. <laughs> Perfect. I know I told myself I want to level up our uh, tools, but it does take a lot of money to do that, so I'm gonna halt on doing that until the barn is done. I know, super, like, not productive, but it is my life. Ooh, sapphire, huh? Very cool. I don't think I've gotten a sapphire yet. Stones, not what I want. Come on, baby. Give me the iron ore. Beautiful. Um, anything rando I can eat. Let's have some popcorn. Didn't really give me much there. About this. Okay. Perfect. It's already getting late. Ooh. This looks like a key to the next level. Sweet. Okay. Let's go to the next level. Hi, Atera. Don't think I've seen you this far into the mine before. This is my first time. How far down does this place go? Oh, who knows? I'd go deeper in myself, but the door to the next level down is locked. There's a kooky note hanging there. 
I can't figure out who left it, though. Does every part of this town come with a ready-made mystery? <laughs> uh, sure seems that way. Anyway, I heard that when the mine was still in operation, the miners found gems on the lower levels. Make it through that door and you could strike it rich. Or source gems for Francis. Good luck. Thanks. Cool. Okay. Yeah, let's... We need to go. It is bedtime and this episode is long. So you know what this means, guys. We might be closer to hitting gold. Should I go to bed? Yes. All right. And if there's no cinematic after, this will be the episode, everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.